Okay guys, in this video I want to go over the breakpoints in Core Framework. So what you'll notice here at the top, we can see all breakpoints. And here we have the breakpoints which are the most common in the popular builders such as bricks or oxygen. But you are free to add your own as well. And I will show you an example of this in a second. But for now, let's just imagine that I want this word fire to change color on different breakpoints. Now I understand that this might not be a real world example, but I do think this is a good example to show you how this is going to work with Core Framework. So because this is related to typography, what I'm going to do is go to the typography tab and at the bottom, I'm going to add a new selector group and I'm just going to call this, for example, rainbow text and you'll see why I'm calling it this in a second. I'm going to create a new class name for this, which is just going to be rainbow and on all breakpoints. So basically on the widest breakpoint, let's go through the colors of the rainbow and start with red. Okay, so obviously that's going to look terrible. I'm going to save changes and then I'm going to go to 1400 and you'll notice that now we have this green outline just to signify that you are editing a breakpoint. So instead of writing all that from scratch, what I'm going to do is go back to all breakpoints, come back to the bottom and I'm just going to simply hit copy. And now I'm going to go back to 1400 and I'm going to hit this button to paste and I'm just going to change this one to orange. Let's once again copy this. I will go one step down, paste again, we'll do yellow and you get the idea. Let's go copy 768 paste. Let's do green here. We'll copy it again and we'll go to 480 paste indigo. Okay. So I'm going to click on finish editing and I'm going to hit save changes. So now on every breakpoint, you should see your colors. Now in the builder, let's go ahead and use our class. So I'm just going to refresh this page here and I'm going to go into my text and I'm just going to add the new class here called rainbow. So you'll notice that it's gone orange. Now let's take a look on the front end. So on the widest view, you can see it is red. If I inspect this and make it smaller, so it goes red, orange, yellow, green, and indigo. Now, like I said, you can add different breakpoints. So let's go ahead and add one more. So let's just add, for example, 400. So max width 400 confirm. And now we've just added a brand new breakpoint here. Let's go back to 480. We'll copy this group, paste it to 400 and let's do violet or actually let's do pink. So finish editing, save changes. And just to show you the new breakpoint, if I make this smaller, you can see there's not much of a difference between those values because we went only 80 pixels difference, but there's your indigo and then it goes to pink here. So just so you know, you are not only limited to these default breakpoints, but you can add any breakpoint that you wish. You can copy and paste any selector groups or variable groups between those breakpoints. And obviously you can use this for many different cases. Now let's say for example, that your header one, for example, on a mobile breakpoint, you don't want to use text for XL. You can simply change this text for XL to text M only on a mobile breakpoint to make it much, much smaller, for example. So I hope this gives you a good idea how to use breakpoints in core framework. If you have any questions, please do let us know and we will be happy to assist you. Thank you very much.